We thank God for His strength. All over the world, I bring you greetings in Jesus' name. I am still talking about the ability to see. Yet, Daniel, see. Let's hear the heavens report for today. I am the Lord God Almighty. I am the Lord of truth. And there is no iota of sin in me. All my judgments are right and true. Therefore, if anyone's judgment is not in line with my judgment, that judgment is false and not from me. Thus says the Lord. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Yinti ene heaven amani bono. Miye eradinya me tumfo. Miye nukwari eradi na boni kiti kiti eni mimo. Matemu ina atene na eye nukwari. Anunti atemu obiara obibebu na nime dienu ebo ebrano. Sa atemu ono enye nukwari. Na emfrimi, said ye radi sieni. We your sofu, Dr. Kukudazi, mama ni boa, midi free heaven. Last week, I talked to you about the abomination of erroneous judgment. That God abhors anyone who judges erroneously. He wants people's judgment to align with his. Na wotu etu ya munu. Mi kasa chre ufa. E busudia. E fa atenche uhu. Se. Nyanku pompu obiara. Obu atenche uhu. Ope se nipa da se ni atemu uhu. E ni natemu uhu. E ye pepe pepe. But unfortunately. Demons are inducing people. To give demonic judgment. That is contrary to God's judgment. Now, so I who said, I 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 said, Such people make it seem as if what God says is good is not good. And what God says is a sin is not a sin. It is their judgment which is right. Sanko fono emane kamiye ti se die. Die nyame kanse eye no. Enye. Ena die nyame kanse eye boni nso so no. Enye boni. Eye omu moma te mo na eteni. That is why God said in Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 that. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil who put darkness for light and light for darkness who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter enunti na nyankopon kan wo yesaya ngoma no ti enum tichemu edionu se die mo amufre boni papa na mufre papa boni Mwa modi esum ejina hao mahay. Na modi ehay soso ejina hao masum. Mwa modi enyino ejina hao ma ede. Na modi eden soso ejina hao ma enyino. Such people disagree with God and swap positions as if they know better than him. E nipa eti saano omu ninyan me nyagwe yin. Omo si san jina biya ni tibiya. E mani kamiye ti se diye. Omo nimi di eche nyami. That is the abomination that I am talking about. 
enu ni ebusudi enu make ho asem no if you take a contrary stance as if god's judgment about something is wrong you are an abomination se uko jina jina bia bia e man kam ye ti se de nyankopon atemu a wo bu afa de bi ho no enya wo ye busudi that was what satan did in the garden of eden he made it seem as if god's judgment was wrong sana bonsam ye ye e wo eden throne o man kam ye ti se de nyankopon atemu no na enye god told adam in genesis chapter 2 verse 17 that he shouldn't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil for in that day that he ate from it he shall surely die but later in genesis chapter 3 verse 4 satan told eve that if she touched it she would not surely die nyankopon katre adam ewo musi nguma dikai no ti mienu chiche mu dunsun se ma on ti edua ba mfri dua no eye papa ani boni nim de no eso isan se da obeti bia di efri so no ewuo ene obewuo na so so mo se nguma dikai no ti mien san chiche mu nai no bon sam katre hawa se se oti bi dia enye wuo ene obewu bia you see what i'm talking about Satan gave a contrary stance and judgment to make it seem as if God was wrong in his judgment. Wo won die make am won sam no. Obon sam e jina jina bia bia. Obu atan ma ne kam ye ti se de atemu a Yakobon bu ye no na enye ne kwari. That is the abomination of making God's judgment wrong in the eyes of his children. Enuni e busudia o manyame atemwo ye boni e wo no ankasa ma eni asenu. Since then that is what is going on in our world. Demons are inducing people to make God wrong in the eyes of his own creation. A free samre no sa na e koso o e wi ase a yeti e emu adamon e kani paso e ma nyame e ye mfomso e wo odun ankasa ni ma eni ase when eve listened to satan and accepted his wrong judgment that was the beginning of the error of human judgment on earth Wabra hawatie obonsam na oje na temu na enye no kwara ne tumu no sada no ena nipa da sani etemu a enye no kwara no ehia ase wa sase so demons are always inducing people to make contrary judgments to make god wrong de bia adamoni e kan ema omo bu atan a eni nyankopon atemu bo bra ema nyame eya mfomso that is what the worldly people are doing and it is very unfortunate that the same contrary judgment that makes god wrong has entered the house of god it's very 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 unfortunate sana vi asifon eye na eya rohu sempa se sa atemu no a eni nyankopon atemu bo e bra no a e ma nyankopon eya mfomso no e wura nyankopon fie na eya rohu papa 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 people who claim to be of god judge contrary to god's judgment nipa o mo na sie se o mo ye nyankopon krofo no omo atemu no eni nyankopon atemu e bo ebra 
like Satan, they don't see as God sees. They see things differently. Oma it is a bosom. Omu huna de said the young couple hunon. Omu huna de o confu frosukra. To them, God is a liar. He doesn't tell the truth. Hey, they are the ones who know and tell the truth. It is their judgment which is correct. Hey, that is the abomination that I'm talking about. That is talking as if God's judgment is wrong. One more part, they say, Nyame or true for na on canocre na omu mum and a nim na omu can't no cre a omu a tim womum and a a papa and only a busu de edwa make a one seven and he said, O my yame a tim wo a bonny. God says marriage is between a male and a female, but to such church leaders. God is wrong. Marriage can be between a male and a male, and a female and a female. To them, God's judgment is wrong. Hey, nyangu pansi, a warrior di a bema eni oba ne warrior. Nansu su sa a sorry a ken di fo ne pache se nyangu pansi yamfumso. A warrior, a bit to me, I a bema, any bema, and a bit to me, so I oba, any oba. No more patch and say, Yankupa Timono, and yet, hey, to such an organization, they know better than God. And if you know better than God, why have you put his name on your organization and say it's called church? Why? Why do you use God's word, which is called the Bible, to teach your church members? It is better to go ahead with your rules and regulations and don't use anything that is of God if you think that you know better than Him. Yes. Yes, I have a question. 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 Now, friend, he said, Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't, and I didn't, and coupon, someone, your friend, a Bible, no, a church, a glove. And he said, So, Coswa, now, the Mra, or Pesa, or the year, or Juman, or the year. Now, Omfa, dear Biara, a free Yamio, and Yahi, say, Why, Jane, say, Unim, the Jane Yamia. The disagreement of such organizations with God. Betrays them that they don't have anything to do with God. Sanya, a good at this anony in your main yarden, a you or ma, a mede, they say, woman in your main nephew. They are doing their own thing, as I always say, to deceive and confuse the ignorant. That was and still is the modus operandi of Satan and his kingdom. Omu ye omu ankasa debi, se de debi ya mekano, se de be ya omu di be da da nipa o de mi de, na omu man ne man so so abafra na jen. Sa, ena e guswara, e ye bonsam, ene na hini eno, e kwenye omu faswa, omu di omu juma. Satan makes God the Father look bad before his children, as I said earlier on. Obon sama nyamieja eye boni ewo onuankasa ni ma eniasi se di emakane dadan. Satan twists God's words to deceive and confuse ignorant and weak-minded people. Obon sam etia nyankopon sem na odi dada enipa oni media wo ma dwene mususu ye hare na o manema ebofra wo ma dwen 
That was how Satan made God look bad before Eve. As if God was lying to Eve. Sa, ena bonsa manyame, eye ni pa body for, e wo hawe ni ase. Ne ye eti se di enyame, na o di atrobi, e di achre hawa no. But Eve was not ignorant at all. God had already told the whole truth to her and Adam. But because of lust of the flesh to satisfy herself, she threw away God's judgment and accepted Satan's judgment. Mm-hmm. Nansu so na isa ho na makona na opese odi so onu ankasa ne ni pedua anu ndi no oto nyankopa atemu onu twene e na oje bon sam atemu onu etum that is how satan is deceiving and confusing people who profess to be god's children sa kwa we so e na bon sam nam so odi dada ni pa Omo na esie se omo ye nyankopon ma na o ma niaman so so e bofra o ma dwen and interestingly many weak minded people have accepted satan's judgments as eve na eni kan se ni se ni papia o ma dwen mu ye hare aje bon sama temu atum at the said ye hawa ye ye no they are also judging like Satan to make God a liar. Omo so bu atain ti se bonsam na omo manyame eye otrofo. God's principles and ordinances are clearly outlined in the Bible. But because Satan has corrupted the minds of the leaders in the demonic organizations that are posing as churches, that is why they have endorsed homosexuality with God says it is an abomination. Nyankopon hiseye ene ne tintim so nyina no e de de pefe o bible mu. Nanso esanse bonsa ma sei akandifo a e wo adamo ni kuo no a wo mo aye o mo te se de e ya sori na dwen nyina nti no. Wo ma je be mani be ma aware eni oba eni oba aware atum a nyankopon se eye busudi eno if you endorse what god abhors you are an abomination you are not of god i repeat if you endorse what god abhors you are an abomination you are not of God. Dr. Kukudazi said that. Amen. So, if you are not a person, you are not a person. 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 Dr. Kukudazi is a what such satanic organizations don't know is that by accepting the wrong judgment of Satan to make God a liar, they will go to where Satan will go. That is in the lake of fire forever. Diesa obonsam kuonu nimini se jia omo je obonsam atemuonu a enye paparitu ne manyan kupon yo trufuonu wo mbe ko be bia bonsam so e be ko enu ni ojatade enu a e be shi afibo wa enu mda no emu you will die and burn forever in the lake of fire as it happened to adam and eve mu be wu na makko shi afibo ojatade enu a enu mda de mu se de to adam any how one so if you don't want to burn forever in the lake of fire, 
don't ever make God a liar. And until some person obey sheer fibor, I will just add in one, in no matter no more. A mouth musio, ne manyame, and your truth for that. Refuse to belong to any organization that endorses what God abhors. And Prince and Kodom a cool biara a four a dear biara young coupon a poor a soda. Such an organization is not a church, it is a demonic entity that opposes God. A cool tisano a ye a sorry a ya dumb money jumedia a kutia young coupon. If you belong to such an organization, you are a part of abomination that is heading to hell. So, you don't say that you don't have to be a person who is a person who is a person who is a person who is a Apart from disagreeing with God in marriage to make a contrary judgment that Marriage can also be between a man and a man, and a woman and a woman. Another thing that lets today's church leaders give wrong judgment is money. So we say, "Woman in your coupon, your jeans, your wardrobe, now we move to attend our party." Say, "Our wardrobe is so so. A bit to me, a bema, any bema." And as our barney or barn or a twin china, a dear be a ma, a candy for a war, a nay, a sorry no mono, a boo a ten chono, a sicker. Money doesn't make today's church people give righteous judgments. Sicker, a ma candy for a war, nay, a sorry mono, a mu a ten In such demonic churches, Money is the yardstick of their judgment. Mm -hmm. Judgment is made in favor of the rich. Wasa Adam money sorinumuno Sika and the Yesu Sudia a mom di buaten. Wo buaten ma a sikafo. As such churches vote to elect one person to be the leader in their churches, just as in politics. Money plays a major role. Said yes, I'm sorry, no, so so. Oh, my two abba. Eddie, you nipa back, you say, oh, my, yeah, oh, candini, eh, was a, I'm sorry, no, no. Said yeah, I'm my young, some, eh, city, eh, no. Sika, eddie, a cotton, pa, eh, um. In such churches, money is used to influence the people to vote in favor of a particular candidate who is contesting for the leadership just as money is used to influence people to vote in favor of a presidential candidate in politics. What's the answer? What is the cashier being my phone? So one to a bano and from a nipper back will be a original no person obey or candidate a was or no Said the edit si kashi nipa funum. Sa wan twa ba man nipa. O peso o jina se. O man peyin. E wo a man yon se mnumu no. Pepe pepe pepe. Sa ha pepe pepe netye. That is how it is. If someone is rich. He will surely be elected. Se obi wo ska. E yonu ni ebe twa ba no amano. He will be the leader even though he may not qualify. Or no, any beye or kendini no, ne bikula ansusua, no mfata. In such a church, money is the determining factor. One sorry atiti sa amono, sika, ene yesu sudi ano, enu ne edie bibi ya. If you have money, you qualify, to be a leader. So who was scar? Who be to me a yokendini? 
It is not about the person's godly character or spiritual virtues. Very unfortunate. In fact, nipano nyamisu anase ne sunsumu ne pebia obetu mi adanedi. It is about money. Just as the politics of Ghana and some African countries have been. A fesikan said ye Ghana man yon sem. Ene a bible muha a man yon sem no bin so so akoyeno. Because the minds of the leaders inside churches are corrupt. They don't follow God's laid down principles and procedures that are used to choose leaders in God's church as outlined in 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 13. The son said, I can defy what's answered in the word of God. Omundi nyankupon enshi shaye and nintin timswa ye faswa ye di ya kendi for o nyamin solemu said ye ya dane di ewo timoti wuma di kaino ti miensa chiche mu bako ediko si du miensano. It doesn't matter if you are a rich drug dealer or a rich polygamist, you can be a leader in such churches. And found all a obey to me. I o sickenia o ton no bonny obey to me. I o sickenia o yurum bebre obey to me. I o candini. I was our unsurnum. The head pastors inside churches don't care about the godly characters of the people. As of whom penny for our was unsurnum or mom fa a nipano subam pabiao. To them, if you have money, you qualify to be the leader. Omo dey say who scan kwa ubi to me ayo kandini. Their judgment is about money, not about one's good character. Omo temo no efesika o emfani pada seni subampa o. That is why. People who are not even Christians are chosen as leaders in such churches. And unti na nipa wamu nye Christo fumpo. And aye you wamu se wamu ya kendi fo. I was answering no mono. That is the most unfortunate thing that has happened in the world today and in the house of God. Aye rehu sempa esiwo. That leaders are chosen because of their money, not because of their leadership qualities or good policies. It's very, very unfortunate. And they say, Ye year can defer a son sika or moonti. Name say. Or can ye who are ched ye any near me be obey to me? I yet, and now say, and the papa obey to me. I yet, and dear, a yarrows and power. No wonder that African democracy has turned to be manicracy. A young one was said, a be before can be mamming can be a mamma and seven. I bet Danny. Sika sem. Ye di sika en ye aban yon sem. It has become money matters. Abe ye sika sem. And no society can thrive on that demonic principle as I said last week. Na, ni pe kuo bie ni wa obe tu mi akoso. Se sa adamon ni shisha ye anase o ma jenye we e wo omu trimwa. What every society needs is a leader with integrity and a vision to relieve the people of their burdens and make the nation prosperous. It is not about money that lacks vision and direction. 
if money becomes the yardstick for judgment and leadership, it is the doom of the poor and the destruction of moral values of the society. Dr. Kukudazi said all that. Let me repeat. I say that what every society needs is a leader with integrity and a vision to relieve the people of their burdens and make the nation prosperous. It is not about money that lacks vision and direction. If money becomes the yardstick for judgment and leadership, it is the doom of the poor and the destruction of the moral values of the society. Dr. Kukudazi said all that. Amen. No wo eni swadi huna ebe tumi aji ni pano e free o madiswa emu na ma o maino e nyana hon e nye sika eni swadi hunu enim na kwanchile biya nsusu enim se sika ebe ye susu diya a ye di bu aten e fa akendi huna e nye e ye hiyan fu o musyo na e say o main biyara a brabo pa Mamin Sisubio. Messi, die ni pekuo biara hiya, e yo kandinia, o wo e mudi, e ni ni daswa, e bitumi aji ni panu e fri, o madiswa e mu. Na ama o maino e nyane hon. Ne mom, e nye sika, e ni suadi honu nim, na kwa nchila nsusubia e nim. Se sika be ye susudia, ye di bu aten, Efa akendi huwa. Mese, eye hiyan fwo musyo. Eni abrabo pa. Ae wo, ti ma mfwo no mono seye. Dr. Kuku da zine kawe yina. Money should not be the yastik for human judgment. En sese sika. Eye nipada seni susudu ya. Ye di buwate. But unfortunately, this mindset has entered the house of God. Na rehu seven they say, "Sa jine we e wura nyang kuponfi." It is because Satan is controlling the minds of some church leaders. Nina sini say, "Obon samna afa akendi fo bidumwa." Owo won sorry binum again. The sad aspect of such money motivated judgment in the house of God is that if a rich man doesn't feel like going to church, the pastors in such churches can go to the house of that rich man and hold the church service there. A serious oh hey. Na rehu sempa efasa sika atemwo no hunu a e wo nyankopon fie no ene se se o sika ni bi mpese obekwa asoria asofo e wo san soro no mu etumi ko sika ni ne fie e ko ya asori no e wo hey it's like if the rich cannot go to church the church will go to the rich hey it's very unfortunate. Now, quite to say, say, Sikanino, and to me, Qua Soria, yet they are sorry, no, because Sikanino. Hey! That is the judgment of the leaders in such churches. And only a temoir, a candy form was answered, no, no, ebu. To them, Rich people should have a special treatment in God's church. No more patch and say, We are sick here. As I say, we need to be a super near strong. Such church leaders don't have James chapter 2, verse 1 to 9 in their Bibles. Sa asoria kendi forno. Omu ni yakubu umano. Ti mienu, chiche mu baku, edikosi nkrono, ewa omu baibonu. 
They are doing what James told the believers that it shouldn't happen in the house of God. The Yakubu Kachre a Jiri for the say and says a see a Yanku Ponfieno and no more. According to James's observation, they looked down on the poor and judged impartiality and in favor of the rich. Na de na Yakubu Pacher is a na obu a hiya for nimtia and our sansu so bu a ten chia a chafa a co a sika for her. James told the church that they were judges with evil thoughts and didn't know that many rich people blaspheme against God. Yakubu Kachira omu se na waya temwa fwa pokuta jim boni na na wonim se esikafo pi omu kan busu sem editi anyame because of their money many rich people don't fear God they don't respect God's church to many of them going to church is a waste of time a son who almost sick and thin, a sick of four pins, so yummy. O mumbu yanko pan sorry. Now, dear P. Patrick, say, a sorry cock, a ya daji say That is why many rich people don't want to go to church. A nuntin a sick of four p and pesa umbeko sorry. To them, the church. And come to their homes. Hey! Hmm. Huh. The Omo Pacher say, I'm fast sorry, no more Omo Fie. Hey! And truly, when they don't go to church, communion mm -hmm. is taken to them in their homes. Mm -hmm. Hey! Na no koeni, Omo Nkwa Soria, ye di eradia di di no e koma Omo, e Omo Fie. And at times, the church service is held in their homes, as I said. And that is a big insult to God. The rich man's house has become the house of God. Hey! Hey. What is bad is that at times the rich man will be sleeping upstairs while the pastor and the church people are praying downstairs. Hey. Hmm. Now the end your crown is a told the be a sickening or no no or dawo a bouncer no so and a suffer only a safumanu a bomb or for more. Hey. No wonder that some churches are of the opinion that when a rich man dies and his relatives pay large sums of money, the dead rich man will go to heaven. Ah. Hey. Hmm. Money determines whether you go to heaven or not. Hey. Hey. Is that how it is? Hmm. Hmm. That is satanic judgment from the kingdom of Satan. Enye me mwa mwa se nsori bi ye o ma jwen se se sike ni bi wu na se ne bu siyan fo timi tuye sika ke se ya sike ni no a wo wu o no a beko heaven hey baby a baba dro no se se sika ene chile se o bibe nyan kwa anan se o nyan kwa we o bun sam a tem wo a e fri bun sam a in ye mo in such a church Salvation is for the rich. Was sorry at Titi Simon and Kwanjie Wahoma Esikafo. If you don't have money, you can't be saved. Let's just say, Uniska Untumi Nyankwa. That is a demonic organization with demonic judgment. God's church is not like that. We are damn many kuwa. 
Womwo adamu ni atemu. Nyankupa sorry de entisa. In God's church, salvation is for everyone. It doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor, male or female, master or servant. That is what the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is about. And that was what the apostles made the believers to comprehend. That is also the reason that the Lord Jesus made the rich men who thought they were indispensable feel sad. When they came to him. The Lord told the rich men of his day. To comprehend that. It is easier for the camel. To go through the eye of the needle. Than for a rich man. To enter the kingdom of God. The Lord wanted the rich people. To see how difficult. It is for them to be saved. That their money. Could be a big hindrance to their salvation. And soon ti and in a swa a my radi yesu Christo ma a sikafwa ne ye or my jin se dabre or muniwa de be into me in cosono ere hoi pa wa bra mu bad in gen. E radi yesu Christo e catre na breso sikafu se e fukra se yuma. Obe ura panye tukrum. A chense sike ni. Ebe ura nyanko pa un ahinebo. Na radi yesu kristo pese sika fwonu hun. Dia e din pa. Ebe ma womu e nyanko. E nise. Womu sika don. Ebe tumi aya kwensi diye ke siye pa. Ama wongkwa jye. But today. Instead of letting rich people see this. The preachers who are also money conscious pamper them and make them feel as if they are special in God's church and can buy salvation. Men susunay and kasese woma esikafuon hun di emeke eno and sempakafuwa omu susu sikaji woma jeno esusu omu so na omu mani e kamye ti se di omu ye ni pastor kukura Ewo nyanku pa asore mu. Na umbi tu mi aton kwa jye. That is a demonic mindset and judgment. Because money cannot buy salvation. We ye odamo ni a jen. Ene hon ate mo. Esan se sika. En tu mi aton kwa jye. God is not partial. He does not favor the rich as the leaders of today's churches do. Nyankupon na tebo nchan kwa fa. Won wa ho asika fo enso so wo mo so. Said ye akendi fo a wo enei ensori mo no eyero. God is righteous and his judgment is the same for everyone. Nyankupon etne Na na tembo no sa na tie e de mobia. That was why when David, whom God loved dearly, sinned by cleverly planning the death of Uriah to take his wife Bathsheba, God rebuked David sharply. He made David to see that his action was very sinful. And nun tina David ya, ni nyanku pon don par, o ye boni wabra, o tina si si she, be me bi ya ni e freno, yuri ya, ni uwo, na o di fa ni yuri ya, na o ye bat shi ba no. Nyanku pon kane ni, na o ma David ya hun se, anamua utu ya no, na enye kwa. 
So if you see yourself as a servant of God or a child of God, don't judge as the worldly people judge. Don't let money influence you. I don't think so. Who said we are nyami akwa? I na say nyami ba. Me mu attend to say the yasi phone bu attend. Me masika and show so. If you do that, you judge from the worldly point of view. Your judgment is from Satan. You are corrupt and not of God. So yes, sir. Ubu aten efri yase forno eni swadi hormo. Watem wono efri bonsamu. Wajin a pro na um fri nyame. You don't know what is right. You don't know God because you don't live according to his principles. Unim nyetene na unim nyame e san se um fa ne shisha ye enetiasi. But if you really know God, you will use his word as the yastic for every judgment. You will let the Holy Spirit guide you in all your ways. So if you don't want God to see you as an abomination in his sight, judge as he judges in Jesus' name. Amen. Enunti, sa wu mpese nyami behu sa wu ye busudie ewo neniswa. Buaten, se di o buatenu ewo yesu dinti. Amen. Zo pese nyame on kronkron betena wo na obua ma obua tentrenia fa ho ma awrade Yesu Kristo wa bra wo ne me boss ampa ye If you want the Holy Spirit to be in you for you to judge righteously give your life to my Lord Jesus Christ by praying this prayer with me Lord Jesus awrade Yesu I thank you for speaking to me today I accept that I am a sinner. But from this day forward, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Forgive me of all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me and I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for speaking to people for them to realize that it is your judgment that is righteous so that they will run to you and not give any satanic judgment in Jesus name amen 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 Dr. Kuku does it if him and our dinner means some crudging if he so much so a brewer ne and no pay. A beer now you hear a child crying now, Pesa will near the summer. Ye war Holy Land, Holy Land, and a war Cassie crudia no more Cassie main road, you know, be who say Abatuano, a war Sabe Kumsua, Nifaso, feeling station set what was so. The edi kind ye tossum ye no, ye tossum ye no in shame, a quiet a ho, a son of a foam. O fast a quano swa could see for me try, obey whom say Action Power Faith Ministries, Holy Land, a woho. And ne a no park with say a day a summary and no crew. Ukuada and you mean no nifa a Bible at this year. And now if you had that and you mean no nifa so a year and Bible. 
Ebi ya na upese uti ya se ni ibi uma. Yebe se si so. Ukuwa da nyumre no son. Eni fiada e nyumre no son. Nene ye papa wakan sempa. Mami ankasa. Mi huwe jirume. Nene no kwa sema. E koso wo en sorry sorry mu. Se nyame ka sema. Na ahomone adane no. Na nipasu wa jiatum. Na beye se nyame e diatro. Ne ye e chiwa de na ya sema e ja ankasa e na nipa di di nyame. Wanka se ni pano, se u kan se mlo bi ko se sama no, e kan se fo fresh wa utia sebe hao. Se waka che adam ni hawa se. We mamo fa bon sen su. Da mwende bon sabi su mumbi hu. Na bon sam swaba e si che se mumu biya. E ne sa ne koso. Ya mi mbra wa shi shame ni pa. E wana se mu se ye ni so ni e fa mbra ni nche eno. Li de sa na sa an so fwo bi asa sa no. E ne di e e jama mwa e ni bai bo mo bi yo. E si si e e ni bai bo mo bi yo. Ne e tri chu chwa e ni bai bo mo bi yo. E ni ma be bre na asa sa wo ya mi fi ye. Ama ya tu wa gu. Ako fa a wo mo ni di ya o katre ye. Na di a re wo kese 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 pa ne se. Se se, uwo sika, eni ye tuwa ba, amuwa ye peni wa sori wu. Na so, se se, hon hon kron kron uwe fila sori numa na. Afe de ye nti ye nyami biye wu. Ye misa nyame, se we ni enfani nsi. Ana se, we yu obe mbwa tuwa we juma no suwa. Ana, enu nti, ena ama nyame nshi shebe bri asisa. Isa se di uwo sika wwa ba, uwo ni nyame hon hon. No bi ni mkwa akwa wafa su nya ni sika. Na mwa chusu no anase mwa ye ni se wome di kaino. Wano su de ne mra ne eba. De ni sika ato. E peni mfuwa ni ansafu mani fenti no. Di obe kebi ya mube tiso. Mumi ye nshe ye. Na sika enti bi nto heaven. Enti bi nto mkwa jie. E ye se ube nye sika ne kwa paso. Ne mwa mnyame mfadibre bi mawa. E nye mwa dia. Nyame enshita ye papa pa wama ye ni adaho na ye hunse ye mkwanji ye wuhi ye nyame nedema ye sika neto ya nyame enshita Amen mama onuya se ube tume hunu adye ye na ube tume bu atenya atenya ise uti nyame ya atene no na sori kanyi emu uti asori ya adamo nene disu omua when you fra, I want to be more attentive than that. But I don't think I'm so brave. I'm not too here. My dear, you can only give righteous judgments if you are in the church of the righteous God. If you are in the church of demons, you are blindfolded. You can't see anything. You will give wrong judgments. That is why I want you to come to be trained properly. And I always tell you that no matter what demons have done with your life, if you decide to serve my Lord Jesus Christ, he has power to set you free. That is why he wants me to tell the whole world that with God, all things are possible. God bless you.